Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Sunday Evening Immortality Update, the place to get all your news and views about life extension and immortality from around the world. Yes, and of course, we also have special guests every night on the program. And tonight, we have a very uh, special guest, someone who many are familiar with within the life extension, the futurist, the transhumanist community. It's Dr. Max Moore. Perhaps many of you are familiar with him as the founder of the Extropy Institute, as well as the author of The Extropian Principle, something that uh, maybe some of you have read before, and you can find it in the forums uh, there with the Sunday, night, even, Sunday Evening Update Forum. Uh, that'll be coming up, our interview with Dr. Max Moore and what he feels is going on in the world of life extension, the future, uh, transhumanism, the whole ball of wax. So stay tuned, that's coming up in just a couple of minutes uh, with the interview. And otherwise, tonight we do have a little bit of news uh, from the Institute. Um, the name change that we've all been discussing uh, through the last couple of weeks. And it's passed a couple of polls among the memberships uh, in order to change the name and also a referendum among the full members of the Institute. They did approve a name change for the organization, but that would still have to be approved by the directors before it would occur. Now, uh, we're moving on to the process of trying to select uh, perhaps what would be a good name and further discuss on how we would change uh, the structure of the Institute if we're just going to change the name of the website or if we're going to Oh, change, you know, the whole organization, uh, start, uh, you know, a complete rebrand of the organization. It's, these are all things that will still need to be discussed. Also, uh, on the conference, I do have a picture here of the conference webpage. Let's take a look here. And there it is. Yes, it's a wiki page uh, for the Convergence Conference. You can also find a discussion about the conference within the Immortality Institute forums. In fact, if you go to the Immortality Institute front page, you will see uh, on the front there in the announcement section the Convergence Conference. Just click on that link and it will take you to the forum where everyone is discussing the conference. But also, uh, here is the front page of the conference. And it is coming up in November the 15th and 16th. Don't forget about it. Put it down on your calendars. Uh, the Convergence Conference coming up in November 15th and 16th at the Computer History Museum in the Silicon Valley, California, United States. Uh, so a big event coming up there. And also, since we're talking about conferences, I should mention as well that we do have the Aging uh, Symposium. I forget the exact name again, but the end of June, June 27th, 28th, 29th, it's uh, being uh, hosted uh, by uh, Aubrey de Grey. It's not exactly a SENS conference, but very similar. Uh, and the Friday night, a part of that conference is free. Everyone can attend at UCLA, uh, and you can find more information about that. Also, it's linked to the front page of the Immortality Institute, so go check that out in the announcement section. Once again, is where uh, that is. Uh, and the conference on Friday is free, but uh, over the weekend, uh, it's uh, a paid conference, I think $300 to attend, two days, Saturday and Sunday worth of all anti-aging research that's going on uh, nowadays in the world. Also, what do we have here uh, tonight? Oh, the Folding at Home Prize. A little update here on the Folding at Home Prize. And what do we have? Hey, we moved up throughout the week. Uh, the longevity team uh, at the folding site at Stanford was kind of holding steady at 189, rank 189. Whoops picture went off of a uh, nice picture of Max there, but we're talking about <laughs> the folding at home prize here. And we're talking about up to 186 now. So hey, good work everyone. Although I did notice throughout the week that we did have less people contributing at any one time. Uh, and that may have slowed our progress just a bit. Uh, our points per day kind of went down to uh, 36,000. It was close to 50,000 and that's you know where I'd like to see it stay or continue to grow. So just a reminder that uh, to keep your computer uh, running the folding at home program uh, when you go to bed at night or when you're out at work. You know, uh, keep that folder, keep your folding client running. Oh yeah, uh, back to the name of the conference in June at UCLA. It's the Aging. Um, let's see, Understanding Aging: Biomedical and Bioengineering Approaches. Uh, that's the official title of the conference that's coming up. 
uh, at UCLA at the end of June. Be sure to register because that Friday night event has limited seating. It's free, uh, but limited seating at UCLA. So if you're going to attend, be sure to register. And also, something else that I have been doing over the last couple of weeks is getting uh, pre uh, showing uh, our sponsors that we have here uh, at the Immortality Institute. Um, we've talked about a couple of the sponsors already. Custom Capsule is one of them. Uh, and last week we profiled Juvis Skin Cream. And this week well, I wanted to do Relentless Improvement. However, I didn't have enough time to get uh, some good graphics together uh, and, uh, and get a good pr uh, profile uh, going. So, I'm going to skip that this week, but next week uh, we'll profile another wonderful sponsor of the Immortality Institute, which is Relentless Improvement. But something else that I've been uh, starting now is our kind of our snake oil review. You know, what's out there as far as anti-aging supplements or miracle cures that uh, really probably uh, do not have any real effect on aging or anti-aging. One thing, uh, last week, of course, the obvious choice was to profile Alex Chu and his immortality rings. You know, uh, many people have uh, all, uh, thought of that as snake oil throughout the years. Uh, but he's still out there selling his rings. And this week, uh, I found something this week that was kind of interesting. I'm unsure as to how much of a snake oil it is. It, it is. Has anyone heard of the Power Mouth Guard? Yeah, or the, the Pure Power Mouth Guard. Yeah, this is something I saw an article on in that sports leagues are trying to decide how to regulate this mouth guard. Because the people who make the mouth guard, of course, say it gives you all this magical ability uh, in sports. In fact, there was a there was a article in EE e. Times this week about the Pure Power mouth guard, and here's just a little snippet of what they said. The approach devised by Dr. Anil Makar of Pure Power Athletics Group uh, from Nova Scotia it uses electronics technology to first relax the muscles of the jaw, then record the bite so that a mouthpiece can be created that puts the jaw in the optimal position to maximize performance. And here's another guy who's certified to fit athletes with a pure power mouth guard. He says, Manny Ramirez, for instance, was just fitted with a PPM this spring, and while we can't take all the credit, you have to admit he's having a great season. So what they're saying with the pure power mouth guard is that, you know, Manny Ramirez is hitting home runs because... He's got a mouthpiece in his mouth. <laughs> you know, okay, so this just uh, on its face kind of uh, sets off my snake oil alarm here. Here's another uh, little sound bite. The theory is that the same technology that cures migraines caused by a misaligned uh, mandibular joint can be used to put the jaw into its optimal position to improve perfor performance by reducing stress, improving metabolic rate, and oxygenating, oxygenating the muscles. The PPM is the recreational version of an orthopedic uh, mandibular joint appliance, but can be designed to enhance performance for nearly any activity. Okay, so, you know, in this promo here and what they're saying about it, uh, it just sounds like something that's, uh, you know, Manny Ramirez is hitting home runs, you know, could it, how much of that could be the placebo effect? I mean, what do you guys think out there in the audience? Uh, you know, put in a mouth guard that's you know, supposedly perfectly suited to your particular jaw, and all of a sudden you're going to be, uh, you know, athletic performance is going to uh, be maximized in, in all of this. Uh, it's not just a, a Kanzior says it's not a placebo. It's not just placebo, it's pure pl placebo. Is that what it is <laughs> uh, in the chat here? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, it seems like the placebo effect, though. Uh, I, I couldn't say for sure uh, that I'm all on with the pure power mouthpiece or mouth guard. Uh, you know, I, I guess when I think about uh, you know athletic performance in general, obviously, if your body is in a perform in a state where you don't have much stress, then you're going to be able to focus right on performing in your particular athletic 